New at 10, someone has to be responsible. That's the message from a sister who says her brother was left to die in Poto after overdosing on fentanyl. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics is investigating. Tonight, she showed me the last moments as he gave to other people. These are the last moments of Cole Reese's life. His brain was dead, but on life support, on his way to donate his organs. They pronounced him dead Saturday. Family and friends were in tears, following close behind. His sister Cassie is holding on to her grandpa. The day that um, he passed, actually, um, our last conversation, um, he had asked me if I was an organ donor. As I'm speaking with her, she's upset. Upset because she says the people he was with let him die on the floor of a house. He went without oxygen to his brain for over 30 minutes. It was said they had Narcan and did not administer it. They finally got somebody to the house to try to perform CPR on him, and it was too late, and those people called 911. His sister says her brother was struggling with addiction, but had been sober before the weekend when he fell back into a bad habit. Somebody has to be held responsible, not for the choice my brother chose to use on his own, but he was with so-called friends and they knew, they all knew what they were doing. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics tells me it's under investigation, but kept the details close to the vest. He was not a hopeless case. My brother was not a hopeless case. We needed my brother. Cole's sister Cassie wants someone to pay. They failed to render aid in an emergency situation and that's against the law. It is against the law to sell someone a pill that leads to their death in Oklahoma. It could lead you to getting a murder charge. We'll let you know what happens with this investigation.